Hello, my name is Nicholas Santillo. And I'm Shantria Tran. And today we're going to be looking at advanced data collection in DHIS2, specifically categories and option sets. So first off, we have categories. And categories is going to be what we're going to spend most of our time on today because it's actually mm -hmm. there are two types of categories in DHIS2. Yes, and that would be disaggregate and attribute. Mm -hmm. And we'll be looking at option sets within this video because, to be honest, they're quite simple. So disaggregate categories. Categories in this way are going to be pulling apart a data element so that we can disaggregate the information. For example. Mm -hmm. So we've got gender and age. Um, in our example here, that is the category combination. So gender is a category itself and age is a category itself. But together, we have a category combination, gender and age. So this would be, for example, if we wanted to track how many students were coming to class. We could, instead of saying 15 students came to class, we could say how many students came to class that were of a specific gender and of a specific age. And we'll look at how this breaks down a little bit. So we have two categories, gender and age, that combine into that combination. And each of those categories has three options, male, female, other for gender, and child, adult, and adolescent for age. Now, each of these categories could be their own category combination, but we've just combined them to show how you can do this in DHIS2. Here we have a few other category combinations just to give you some more examples. So for gender we have female, male, other, uh, after school activities, book club, reading competitions, and so on. Right, attribute categories. Yeah, so this is a little bit different and you can see here uh, we have the drop-down menu for category one attribute mm -hmm. and we have option one selected. So I haven't named these options because I just wanted to highlight what they look like. Uh, option one gives us this data set, the monthly school visit, and each of the other options will actually show us the exact same data set. Right. And we'll be able to enter new information within the same organization unit, the same data set, and the same period. Mm -hmm. But we can disaggregate that by who enters which data set. A lot of times we find that it's funders mm -hmm. and partners. Yeah, funders and partners. And while we're here, we can just look at these values. We have no value, yes and no. These are examples of very simple option sets. Mm -hmm. An option set is basically a radio button, and you can create option sets in the same way as category uh, combinations. We you create your options, and then you create your option set. And you can make as many options as you would like. So this is a simple two or three with a no value. And you can make this a seven point satisfaction scale or, mm -hmm. or any other type of uh, radio button list. Yes, and with option sets, I believe you just choose one option. It's not sort of like a checklist. Exactly, it is not a checklist. You're only allowed to choose one of those options. Okay, a few best practices. It's always best to share um, the same dis sort of disaggregation for data elements. So if you're using gender, uh, you want to make sure that if you're breaking it down to female, male, other, that it is always female, male, other. Yeah, it'll save you a lot of time and it'll allow you to have higher quality reports if you have the same disaggregation for multiple data elements. Uh, if you have a different age groups or categories, uh, it'll be difficult to define what youth is if each of your data elements uses has a different breakdown for youth, mm -hmm. for example. And of course, uh, you want to design your dimensions uh, with the use in mind, not the collection, it should be easier because at the end of the day, we want reports. Right. Uh, you can teach anyone to enter data in any way. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, and that's about it, I think, for now. So I believe so, yeah. We're going to send you off to some quizzes. Good mm -hmm. luck on those. And that's it for now.
All right, this has been Nicholas Santillo. And Shantari Tram. And thanks so much for watching.